If we take a closer look towards the workflow itself as a type of flow that you can use, you will notice that there are several features that are not present inside the workflow that they are available inside of the regular flows. If we take a look, you will see that we now only have a action step, a condition step, a split step and a send email block. These steps are designed to be able to create any kind of backend flow that you like to. So for example, once a tag has been added towards a certain user, you will be able to activate this workflow. So let's say that a workflow has started with an automation trigger. We can set this up easily by going towards automations and then we're going for the triggers tab. From here, we can set up a certain automation and a trigger will be tag applied. We can already say we want to activate this. We're going to grab a tag from our tags overview. For example, a user finished the welcome message. You can also add a filter for bot users if you like to. So you can add any of the individual filters that you have access to inside the flow builder itself. If it's not needed, we can just go with press save. As you can see, the tag applied is now showing inside the triggers overview where we can choose a subflow. So let's just connect the subflow that we needed to for this automation. Once done, you will be able to go back towards your flow and set up the individual backend workflow. Inside the flow itself, you will now see that the starting step will have a tag applied, which we just set up under the automation tab with the finished welcome message. Once done, you will be able to connect any kind of step that we that you like to. For example, let's say that a user finished the welcome message. We want to export that data over to a Google Sheet. We can just go with an action block. We can go with an integration, Google Sheets. From here, select your action. In this case, we're just going to use the insert row. And then we're going to select the spreadsheet and then we need to select the worksheet. In this case, it's just sheet one. And once done, you will see all the column names that we exactly created inside this Google Sheet overview. We can now use any kind of data that we like to export to those column names, and we can access all system and custom fields by just going towards the variable name. We can search for a certain name. Let's go with username. If we do have the email, we can also send that along along with the phone number. And the last question could be the last text input that the user gave. If we save this, you will now be able to have set up this automation successfully. If a user now gets the tag event finish welcome message, then the Google Sheets will be pre-filled with this data. And this is how workflows can be set up to automate certain backend processes.